Hi, this is Guy. One thing that I've noticed is that many people think they know a lot about cockroaches, but a lot of what they think they know isn't exactly true. Not only is this the case with most people, it is surprisingly also the case with many pest controllers as well. So let's talk about what's real and what isn't real about roaches. The first thing you should know about roaches is that they come in flavors. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that it's okay to eat cockroaches? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not, I'm not talking about eating them or anything. What I'm saying is there is more than one species of them and different species display different types of behavior. Some species only live inside buildings and don't survive well outside. We call those domestic cockroaches. And the most common of these are German cockroaches. There are also cockroaches that primarily live outside. For example, Asian cockroaches typically do not infest homes. Then there are cockroaches that can live outside or they can invade your home and live inside as well. The thing is that all of them get treated differently. So, before you start treating a cockroach problem, you need to know what species you are dealing with. Most species are pretty easy to get rid of, but German cockroaches are very hard to get rid of. Look, I don't need to worry about cockroaches because I keep a really clean house. Whoa there, my little bookshelf friend. That's not exactly true. One of the big misunderstandings about cockroaches is that only people who are messy or unclean in some way are going to have cockroaches. Many people believe that if you keep a clean house, then you will not get a cockroach infestation. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. While it is true that cockroaches do like a messy house because it offers them some great hiding places and they love it when you leave dirty dishes in the sink and all that sort of thing. The truth is they do not require these conditions to establish an infestation. You can have the most spotless house in the world and still get a cockroach infestation. Okay, I get that. But what if I just see one roach every now and then? Yet another misunderstanding people have is that if you just see one roach, it's no big deal. This is also not true. Whether or not seeing one roach is a big deal is going to depend on the species. If that one roach you see is an American cockroach or an Asian cockroach, then it's probably no big deal. That is because Asian and American roaches are outside roaches and seldom infest homes. In the case of American roaches, they usually just come in from the outside to escape undesirable weather conditions. While they can start an infestation in your home, most of the time they will just die on their own and will not require any treatment at all. However, if that one roach happens to be a German cockroach, then it is a very big deal. If you spot just one German cockroach, then that probably means that you have a serious infestation already. You might be right about that. I got infested because they came up through my sink drain. No, wrong again, little shelf guy. Many people think that you can get a cockroach infestation from your drains. This may be one of the biggest misunderstandings of all. Some species do live in sewer pipes, but they are not capable of getting past the trap that is under your sink. Also, they are not capable of coming through your toilet either. This misunderstanding happens because many people see cockroaches in their drains or their toilets 
and mistakenly believe that the cockroaches entered that way. The truth is that cockroaches do like water. Since there's water in your drains and in your toilets, the cockroaches may like to hang out there, but they didn't come in through the drains or through the toilet. They were already in your living space and just decided to take a trip to your drain or your toilet because it may be a nice dark area that has water and it's a great place where they can hang out and dine on some nice tasty drain sludge as well. Well, if they like water so much, won't they die if I just remove all the water sources? Well, no. Another big misunderstanding about cockroaches is they need water to survive. It sounds logical. All living things need water to survive. So, if you deprive cockroaches of water, then they are all going to die, right? Unfortunately, this is not the case. Cockroaches can breed in their hiding places for a really long time without the need for food or water. That is because they are cannibalistic and can eat each other. They eat very little, so one dead roach can feed many live cockroaches. Wait a minute. If they can survive so well without food, why am I mostly seeing them in the kitchen? That's a great question. Many people think that roaches stay close to a food source, and that is why you typically find them in the kitchen. Sure, lots of roaches would love to have something nice to eat other than another roach. That is why many of them do hang out in the kitchen. But in the case of German cockroaches, there are probably thousands of them that are behind the walls well, we cannot even see them, and they will never venture out of their hiding places. What's worse, they can travel from one room to another and infest an entire house by traveling along the electric lines in the wall. When your house was built, the electricians drilled holes in the wall studs, and the cockroaches can use those holes to travel from one room to another at will. When one wall void becomes overcrowded, they simply move to another one. Before you know it, you will have millions of them in your walls and in a variety of rooms. Just ask anybody with a serious cockroach infestation and they will tell you that these things are in the bedrooms as well. Okay, I get it. A roach infestation can get out of hand very easily, but all you need to do is put out some bait or roach traps for them, right? Well, you can if you want the roaches to just laugh at you. Perhaps the biggest misunderstanding about roaches is that you can kill them simply by baiting them or putting out some sticky traps. This may do the trick for some easy species, but not for German cockroaches. While well, using a bait is certainly an important part of any good cockroach treatment, it cannot be the only treatment that you use if you have German cockroaches. These guys require an extensive treatment in order to totally eradicate them from the building. Unfortunately, German cockroaches are the most common species on the planet and account for the vast majority of cockroach infestations in both homes and apartment buildings. Treating them is extremely difficult, but you can get rid of them if you're willing to take the time and put in the work. I have a video on how to get it done, and I will give you a link at the end of this video and in the description. Be well, my friends, and thank you so much for watching.